My name's Pete Kibble, I'm a fish biologist. I'm assessing the fish friendly nature of these Ritzatro turbines. We'll be passing a number of fish of different sizes and species through the device, trapping them at the outflow and assessing them for any damage. We'll be putting through about 150 brown trout of varying sizes and then we'll also be putting through around about 50 eels. The fish are introduced at the intake to the turbine, but they're actually introduced before the leading edge. The reason for this is to represent a natural situation where the fish can make their own way across the leading edge, which is where, if there is any damage, it's going to tend to occur. So the fish make their own way past the leading edge and into the first chamber of the device. set up a screen about a metre back from the leading edge to stop the fish swimming back up the lead and we introduce it between the screen and the leading edge so there's about a metre of water that the fish passed into. At the lower end, the fish are caught in a bespoke fike net. It's got a large frame followed by several hoops and a cage at the far end. The net's about eight metres long and the fish pass through the net and they're actually trapped in the cage. We then inspect the cage and remove the fish and assess them for damage. To represent a range of operating conditions, we've actually passed the fish through at different rotational speeds and flow rates from very low rates up to rates that represent the machine going at full capacity. The benefit of doing this is to show that fish can pass through across a whole range of operating conditions when the river is very low to much higher rates of flow when more water would be passing through. We found there wasn't any significant difference across the whole range of flow rates in terms of any damage to the fish. These results are pretty comprehensive. We've conclusively shown that these devices are very fish friendly. Fish of a whole range of sizes from around about 10 centimetres to fish of around about 50 centimetres have been able to pass through with very little, if any, damage caused by the device. It's good to see a machine that's so fish friendly. In fact, I believe that in the States they're actually used as fish pumps to move fish from one body of water to another one.